Hey there, YouTube! Daryl back with you again for another episode of Daryl's Vape Tape. Today, we're going to be looking at the Hercules Hydra by Sense, all right? So, first thing I want to say about this, this isn't your average size sub-ohm. I mean, this sub-ohm tank, as you see, it's, it's just a tiny sub-ohm. Um, I think they call it like a miniature sub-ohm tank. So, you know, this is... This is a really nice tank. I, I really do like it. Um, you know, it's it's not, it doesn't have, you know, this isn't going to be for the people that want a, a ton of airflow or run a ton of high watts. You know, this is going to be for, you know, more of the beginner stage person that, you know, wants to run. It does have nickel coil, so you can run nickel in it. That's actually what I'm going to be running in it today. Um, it also has a 1.8 coil out there. So, I mean, there's a couple options, but, you know, this is for, definitely for the beginner out there. Um, you know, you can get a lung hit with it, but it's more for, you know, a mouth to lung hit, not, not really all air there. So, um, you know, before we dive down close and, and dig into it a little bit, you know, I want you guys to grab a mod, take a seat back, just like always, take a vape. I'm going to do the same here. Then we're just going to dive down and we're going to take a real close look at it. All right, so we're looking at the Hercules Hydra right now. It's got your Sense Hercules right there on the top. Okay, so we'll start on the bottom. Right here on the bottom, it's got your standard 510 pin on it, copper set right there, okay. Um, right here, you have your air holes, okay. It's got three different settings on it. It's got one wide open right there, pinhole setting right there, and a little bit more open right there, okay. Um, I like it because it is also top fill, so I'll show you guys that here in a second. Got your standard 510 drip tip, comes with a stainless steel version right there. Okay, and let me take this top cap off here so I can show you guys how it fills. So this just comes off right there, and you just fill it up in either slot. Just fill it up right there. Um, it holds about 2 to 2.5 mils of uh, juice, okay? So not very much juice, but, you know, running the low watts that you're going to have to run with this tank, um, it, it lasts a good amount of time. Okay, so you see these black little rings right here? They have a couple different colors. I think red, um, I think it comes in orange or yellow. I'm not quite sure, but I, you know, I just like the black version there, okay? So you unscrew this right here. I'll show you guys the inner of this, okay? You can bottom fill it. So if you're going to bottom fill it, you just fill it right up right there on the inner, right on the out of the inner barrel right there, okay? So that's the inner slots right there. You can see the wicking holes that they have on that inner barrel right there, all the way around wicking holes, okay? So this just comes off here, um, just kind of pops out there. This has got one single O-ring right there. No leaking with this tank. Not one issue at all with leaking. So I really do like that, okay? So here's your coil right here. Let me go ahead and take this out. I want to show you guys the comparison between this coil and just an average Atlantis coil. So you got this coil right here, and here on the right is your Atlantis coil. I mean, you can see the difference, okay? Um, I would compare the, the Hydra coil maybe to like a Nautilus Mini is what I would compare that to. It's just a, it's just a tiny coil. Um, so like I said, I mean, this is not for your... Um, your, you know, vapor that wants a lot of airflow, running high watts, this isn't going to be that guy. This is going to be the guy that's just starting out, trying to get something, you know, to get his feet wet on the sub-ohm side of things. And, uh, you know, it's a really nice tank, but it's just not for that guy, okay? So, got the coil set in there. This just plugs in there like so. Get that in there like that. Screws down. Top cap goes back on there like that. And then your 510 pin just goes on there like that, okay? Every 510 drip tip that I have fits real nice on there. Um, no issues with that. This fits really nice on all my devices. No problems with that at all. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this back up top. I'm going to fill it up with some juice, prime the coil up. We're going to take a couple vapes on it. We're going to kind of show it how it performs, okay? All right, so I got it all primed up, juiced up, ready to vape on, so why don't I just take a toke on it? Um, I'm running 350 degrees. I'm reading a 0.2 resistance on the NI200 coil. I mean, 
not a lot of cloud production, but you know the flavor is great. Um, it's just a small coil, so you're really not going to get a huge cloud out of this tank. I mean, it's not going to perform that way. Um, you know, it doesn't have. It has okay airflow, but like I said, this is for the beginner. This isn't for the the veteran that's been vaping a long time and wants a sub ohm tank that's going to produce massive clouds. Okay, you know, it's nothing like the TFV4 or anything like that as far as cloud production or airflow. This is this is strictly for the beginner. All right. Um, so why don't we go ahead and jump into the pros and cons. Um, the first pro I have for it is this hot fill. Makes it super convenient. Um, it's really nice. I just like that, you know, factor in it, okay? The next thing is I like that um, it comes in a couple different colors here. So the bands here, you can get a couple different options there. So I, I do like that, okay? It gives you a little versatile there, okay? Um, I also like that it's a smaller sub ohm tank. Some of the other sub ohm tanks are kind of big. This one's a really small and sleek. So this is definitely going to be for more of the discrete vapor with a small mod, something small to go on that. Okay, right now I got it sitting on the Snow Wolf. I don't have any other of my smaller mods um, available at the moment. So I mean, you know, you see how massive it is on that guy. But you know, on a smaller mod, this is going to look really good and it's going to perform very well on that. Okay, um, it's a 20 millimeter base, so it, it's a smaller tank. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get into a couple of the cons. The first con I would have is there's only two coils for it, so you can get a 1.8 Canthal coil or you can get a 0.2 Ni200 coil. That's it. Okay. So I mean, there's not a lot of range there you can go from. Okay. Um, the next con I have for it is the coils aren't really accurate. Okay, so what I mean by that is, you know, right now I'm reading a 0.28 on a 0.2 coil. Okay, I don't like that. I, I want to read accurate on the coil resistance, all right? And and when I was running the point the 1.8 Canthal coil on here, it was just bouncing. So it would bounce from like 1.5 to 1.9 to 2.0. So it's just kind of bouncing all around. I want it to be accurate. So I don't like that factor, okay? Um, you know, besides that, I don't really have any other cons for it. I mean, there's there's a couple major cons, but, you know, this is for the beginner. So, I mean, you know, it's just kind of, it is what it is, I guess. So, um, if you guys are looking to buy this tank, um, the site that brought it to me to review for you is selling this tank with a whole kit, and I'll tell you guys what's in the kit here in a second. Um, it's around 25 to 30 bucks, okay? So, I've seen it on a couple different sites. So, um what comes in the kit is a 1.8 canthal coil the 0.2 nickel coil it comes with a spare glass so I mean you do get your your money's worth with this tank I, I do like that okay so I'm gonna close this video out with a vape you know hopefully you guys enjoyed the video any of you beginners out there looking for a nice sub ohm tank to get your hands on go ahead and look at the Hercules um, Hydra okay it's a really nice tank so um, like I said I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys liked it at any given time make sure you guys give me a thumbs up but besides that you guys have a great night and thanks a bunch